to play basketball. Let's go. We you got to guard, you got to rebound, and you got to run. We got to come down and get something good on offense. They outscored in that third quarter 22 to 10 after being down seven, and now Kentucky a 19 point lead. It was terrible. I think it was my worst experience, you know, playing basketball. It was just a terrible experience. We had a bad night, and it's an uncharacteristically bad night. Mississippi State will cross enemy lines and win the war. They win two games and sweep the series and have won the last five. And they win here if we do the billion at Ole Miss. If we can continue to get better and uh, continue to improve, clean up our mistakes. Whether it's SEC or national championship. You know, there's, there's championships out there in front of us. I think the hardest part is how the benches are on like the opposite of the court. The court is like on a stage and the people is like below. So like you can't really hear a coach yelling or the bench cheering you on. Well usually it's about the team. They usually have a pretty good team and this year was no different. They had six seniors, it was senior night. You go in there with a freshman point guard, uh, excuse me, a sophomore point guard and a freshman backing her up. Uh, it can present challenges so. Uh, those are all things you got to deal with, and uh, but it, it, again, it creates a, a tremendous home court for them. So it's just hard to function in there. You have to really have great point guard play and Mo and Jazz. They have to be more vocal and run the team. I don't know why they're the way they are, but those stats indicate a team that ought to be in the top 25 and in the top four in the SEC. Those are unbelievable stats. That's an unbelievable stat, third in our league. That's a great stat. This is an unbelievable stat, 27 rebounds a game. That's an unbelievable stat, that's all they allow. Offense, defense, that's it. That's how hard those kids work. So let's make sure we understand what we're fixing to walk into. High school All-State, All-American, guess what? Wasn't big enough, wasn't big enough. Alabama said you can't play for me, I'm not big enough. Four years later, I'm all SEC. You know what they forgot? I forgot that. We've got that. I know you have that. William on the skip pass over on the right wing to Victoria Vivians. Left the shot, drives it right baseline. Now puts it up, 15 footer, good. Morgan William, 17 footer on the way, straight away, good. So Morgan William down the sideline on the right side, which is the far side, picks up her triple on the right wing, top of the circle to Vivian. Now Vivian fires a long three, good. Well, making shots. Uh, you know, obviously we were guarding a little bit and uh, creating some things defensively, but then we were making shots on the other end. Torrey got off to a torrid start and uh, and really uh, kind of ignited us. And again, when she's making shots, it really lifts our team up. Rather than outlet it to Vivians, pull up jumper 13 feet away, right side good. Vivians with five straight points, and the Bulldogs are up 14-3. We cooled off a little bit, and uh, they started to figure out our defense a little bit. We were forcing turnovers, uh, or they were making shots. If I remember right, they were nine for 20 at halftime for 45%, but we had turned them over uh, quite a bit. And so, uh, you know, I think, they settled in, we settled in, and then, uh, you know, we had a chance to, to be up eight at halftime and, and uh, again, had a, had a last second shot right before halftime again. So, uh, but all in all, hey, you're up six at half on the road in the SEC, you'll take that every night. execute that dead gun play. That's a great screen. That's a tough shot for a right-hander post player to make coming this way. That's a heck of a job. Heck of a job. Way to make those two free throws. And girls, we got to stop penetration and we got to rebound and run. Okay? Rebound and run. We really executed, ran some good stuff, got our post players involved and uh, they got some really good looks and then um, Again, defensively, we were turning them over and, and getting out in transition. So you get up 16 in the third quarter on the road, again, you'll take that and run with it. William 
We'll hand it off to Dominique Dillingham, left wing. Dillingham drives it, pushes it off the window, and scores it. Dominique Dillingham now in double digits. Here we go. And I, I guarantee you, she's going to shoot it or one's going to shoot it. So three's coming off and one's coming out. 33's your switch out. See right here? Screen across. She's going to come off the double here. Three's your switch out. Do not foul the three-point shooter. We're in flat. Box out. Get the board. Rimmed out, not there. She missed a bow. Four in a row. Missed by the Bulldogs. Up just six. Dahlman will fire a three from the left wing, and she hits it. And Vanderbilt has cut this to a three-point lead with, with 33.8 seconds left. And now Morgan Williams fouled as soon as the Bulldogs inbound. We had a couple of bad turnovers, and then uh, we did have have uh, have some unlucky things at the line. But then we turned right back around and made some th made some shots at the line. So. You know, um, again, you realize it's going to be going to be that way. And teams are going to make a run at you, and you just got to be able to withstand their effort at the end and make enough plays, and we did. And that's going to do it. Bulldogs only win for their third time here at Memorial Gymnasium. Hey, good job today. We know, hey, this doesn't happen very often around here. Where they come in here and win. I'm, this is only the second time I've won here. It's a great win. Get you to 10. That's a great job. You got one to get, you get the double by. Great job. I'm not kidding. Way to make free throws down the stretch. We'll learn from our mistakes. But that's a good win. It's hard to come in here and win. Great job. Go see our fans. Team on three, one, two, three, team. There's a lot to stop and see this President's Day at Nissan. Reinvented capability, enhanced safety, and reimagined design. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. Choose the 2015 Nissan Altima and save up to $3,000 or get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. Get your new Nissan now. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. change. She was here with Coach Haver when he first got here, so I mean, she's seen how much we've come. She's like a big sister that I never had. Uh, I love Sharice. We, we're really close. She can't stay mad at me, even if like I do the most evilest thing ever, but I really love Sharice. She's like a big sister. She just brings a lot of joy to my heart. I've told her several times. It just brings so much joy to my heart, you know, just knowing that you know, as young as she is, she can have that kind of heart inside of her. You know, she's seen it all. She's been a part of it all. And uh, she can be very proud in knowing the impact that she's made and been a part of in, uh, in changing the culture here. I mean, it's gonna be tough because Coach Schaefer, he is one of those people that he wants to push you to do better. And for him, he always tells me, it's not always about basketball, it's about your personal life. She will be the only one um, that we had that was here from day one. And that makes her very unique and very special. So uh, I, there won't be anybody happier and there won't be anybody that'll have more tears than, uh, than I will when she graduates this summer and walks across that stage. <laughs> This was my first senior day, I never had one. I didn't have one in high school, so I, I never knew what it felt like. All I know is what it felt like for my teams and how last year we had senior night for KG, um, Martin, Savannah, and JJ. It gets harder, I think, every year, especially for the seniors. Um, Reese being the only senior and the only person that stayed through the four years since the coach has been here, I think it does get harder. I wanted to cry, but I was like, I kept telling myself, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. But I was getting so emotional because of what my teammates were saying about me and what Katera said about me got to me the, the most because me and Katera were really close. It's got to be personal. Let's go! Go play and have a day. Come on, defense, defense, defense. defense. 
Swings it over in the left corner to Vivian. She'll square and fire three, and it's off the mark. Now there, Bulldogs are now 0 for 5. It is tapped out to Morgan William near the midcourt line. She'll take it to the SEC logo, put it up, and it goes. And the Bulldogs are on the board. Vivians will fire it from the top of the circle. It's hard. It's a three-pointer. The Bulldogs have the lead. And puts it up with the left hand. Kind of a baby hook off the backboard. Not there. Mississippi State has the rebound. Morgan William outlets it to Dillingham. Just inside the three-point line. Puts it up. Good. And the Bulldogs all of a sudden are hot from the field. Wade puts it up short. Off the left arm out there. Vivians has it. Vivians comes running down the floor on the left side. Bounce pass inside the chapel. And she finishes with the right hand. Oh, what a play by the Bulldogs. You cannot run transition offense any better than Victoria Vivian just did. Running in transition, we got stops on the defensive side and then nobody was getting back for them and we were just going in transition. She throws it back out, middle of the court, and it goes into the hands of Dominique Dillingham, stolen away by the Bulldogs. Dillingham, left wing, bounce pass to Sharice Williams, lays it up and scores it from the left side. And Sharice Williams gets in the scoring column and it's 11-6 Mississippi State with 3-10 to go in the first quarter. Well, yeah, I mean, we helped them in that Dom had two fouls, Victoria gets two fouls, and, uh, you know, we, we, return, we turned the ball over too much in the first half. But, again, you just, you have to know it's going to, I knew that game would be a dogfight. I didn't, I fully expected it to be a nail-biter. I didn't have any visions of grandeur that we were going out there and win 20 by 20. So, um, you know, those kids are competitors, and uh, they're going to fight, and uh, they've done it all year been in so many games they've lost some close heartbreakers and so you knew you were going to get their best shot and uh, we did the Bulldogs will take a three-point lead into the halftime break 28 to 25. and you got to be passionate about what you're doing you got to play hard smart and together but you got to be passionate you get somebody down you go put your foot on them you don't let them come down here and answer Victoria Vivians on the right wing. You just wait for her to get hot. Pull up jumper inside the three-point line, right corner period. Versatile was the key word. Firing it up, Dillingham on the inbound from the right corner, just inside the three-point line. She hit it. Gets it over to Dillingham. Loves the shot, right baseline. Now she'll back it out, top of the circle. Now she'll put it up just inside the three-point line and hit it. Dominic Dillingham with her tenth point. Dom, she was unbelievable yesterday, and she looked, made everything she looked at. You know, she goes eight for 12 from the field for 17 points, and. Uh, she was able to play through two fouls in the first half, and she was able to guard their best player and uh, kind of keep her hemmed up. And so, uh, you know, the X factor in my mind was, was certainly um, her ability to play both ends, which she's done all year. William Knight sealing off Dominic Dillingham left wing. Morgan William, right elbow, behind the back dribble, kicks it out to Dillingham, bluff to three, left wing, drives it in the paint, puts it up 13 feet away, good, and she's fouled. Dominique Dillingham has made it a 10-point game, 52-42, and she can extend the lead with a free throw. Knight, left elbow, kicks it over left corner, driving it and putting it up and having it blocked and taken away. Hayden had it blocked and taken away by Vivian. She'll outlet it to Richardson running the floor and scores from the right side. Woo! Transition basketball, and the crowd erupts. Vivian Jason throws that pass from just inside half court. And now Brianna Richardson, everyone has scored on the Bulldogs basketball team today. This one's over. You know, Dominique Dillingham, the letter team in scoring with 17 points. They'll dribble out the clock. And Mississippi State wraps up the regular season. And the Bulldogs will be 24 and six overall, 11 and five in the SEC. And they are now the three seed at the SEC Women's Basketball Tournament next Friday. Well, you're certainly proud uh, of what you're able to accomplish through a grueling season to go 24 and six. But I'm just, I was really happy for my players, um, knowing how hard we've worked and, and again, how young we are. Uh, we lost four quality seniors a year ago. And, uh, to be able to come back this year and actually tie for second in the SEC um, with a young basketball team, only one senior, to win on senior day for Sharice. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that, that I was really happy about, but just a really a sense of pride in, in my kids, my players, and uh, how they've been able to really compete all year long through this grind. I mean, this season, you know, a season is such a long, hard grind, and you're in the best conference in the country. You're, you're getting everybody's best shot every night, and uh, so it's it's a it's a culmination of a lot of feelings for sure. I got a real special senior here that'd like to say a few words to you. Been here for four great years. We certainly wouldn't be where we are today without her. Go on, this is Sharice Williams. Played 
13 minutes, yeah, and, uh, and played well. And uh, again, I, I was really happy for her, uh, happy for her father and her mother who were there and, and got to experience that. And so, uh, again, it couldn't have turned out any better. Uh, you know, we win, Sharice gets to play uh, quite a bit, has, plays well, has some meaningful minutes for us. And so, uh, uh, really a good day, great day to be a Bulldog. And if it was a good feeling to win, going out your last game in the hump and you win. It was great. With that right there, you're now going to finish tied for second in the SEC. So not only did you reach your preseason, but you exceeded that by finishing second. I expected today just like it was. I knew it'd be a grind. I knew they were going to play hard. You guys did a good job. Reese had a good senior. Good job. Good job. Good job. It couldn't have been better for her. And uh, I'm really happy that it turned out that way, Reese. I'm really proud of that as well. And again, give my kids credit. Uh, give them all the credit. Um, because I do think they're coming to watch those kids play and, and watch, them ha watch how they play the game. And so, uh, it, you know, it's, it's very gratifying. Um, the crowd, they have always been there supporting us no matter if we lost or won, um, I think they also want to be there for Sheree singing night, just to see us close out the end of the chapter and get us through it. We averaged 5,000 a game this year, but we averaged 6,100 for the SEC. And so, um, you know, again, we talk about building a program and the importance of all things that go into that, and uh, that's a that's a piece of it. And uh, you know, it's it's fashionable to come to women's basketball games and start with Mississippi.